Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss oncogenic DNA viruses uh, and we are going to discuss Epstein-Barr virus and how it is involved in carcinogenesis. Epstein-Barr virus is a member of herpes virus family. It is implicated in the pathogenesis of multiple lymphomas like Burkitt's lymphoma, African form, Hodgkin's lymphoma, B-cell lymphoma in immunocompromised T-cell lymphoma, NK-cell lymphoma, some nasopharyngeal carcinoma and some gastric carcinoma. EBV infects the B-cells and epithelial cells of the oropharynx, okay? And how does it infect? It uses its complement receptor CD21 to attach to and infect B-cells. Infection of B-cell is a latent infection. That means no viral replication occurs inside the B-cell. The cells are also not killed, but the infected B-cell, they become immortalized, okay? Now, what is the molecular basis of B-cell proliferation? EBV, it contains LMP1 gene. LMP1 gene is latent membrane protein 1 gene. It is It acts as an oncogene. It behaves like constitutionally active CD40 receptor. CD40 receptor is the recipient of helper T cell signals that, sim that stimulate the B cell growth. Okay, now it behaves like constitutionally, constitutionally active CD40 receptors. So therefore, it doesn't need signals from helper T cell anymore. Now the B cell growth will occur. Uh, it will keep on occurring. The B cell growth will keep on occurring because it's constitutionally active now. So one is this. Second, it stimulates the NF kappa B receptor and the JAK stat pathway and it promotes the B cell survival. Okay, and also it stimulates the BCL2, therefore prevent the apoptosis. Okay, so these are the three actions. First is it acts as a constitutionally, constitutionally active CD40 receptors that will promote the B-cell growth. Next, it stimulates the NF-kappa B injected and BCL2 also. Now, EBV also contains another gene that is EBNA2. EBNA2, what does it does? It stimulates the cyclin D and SRC family of proto-oncogene. Okay, and it also contains a viral cytokine VIL10, which prevents the T-cell activation. Okay. So these are the three major uh, uh, genes and uh, cytokines which are involved in B-cell proliferation. Now talking about Burkitt's lymphoma, EBV not directly oncogenic, okay? It, it acts as a mitogen. It causes polyclonal, it is a polyclonal B-cell mitogen actually. So it doesn't directly cause oncogenesis. It sets the stage for acquiring T translocations like T814 translocation and other mutations. So it just sets the stage for acquiring these mutations. It is not directly oncogenic. Now, majority of the patients infected with EVB are asymptomatic or they have a self-limited illness like infectious mononucleosis. And EBV role is more direct in B-cell lymphoma. It has a more direct role in B-cell lymphoma in immunocompromised patients than other lymphomas. Okay, so what we have started, we have started about EBV the Epstein-Barr virus and how it is implicated in uh, these multiple lymphomas and uh, uh, these are the three genes we have discussed LMP1, EBNA2 and VIL10 and uh, how it is not directly oncogenic but it sets the stage for further acquiring translocations. So this is all about EBV induced carcinogenesis. Thank you.